The late Swiss lawyer Patrick Bauman would have likely been elected IAC president to succeed Thomas Bach in 2025. Last Saturday, Bauman died of a heart attack while attending the Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires in his dual capacity as FIBA secretary general and IAC member. There are no details of the circumstances of the cardiac arrest, but it was reported immediate medical attention was given before he passed away. At 51, Bauman was on the way to a major leadership role in the IOC. He was head of the evaluation committee that recommended Paris as host of the 2024 Games in Los Angeles to stage the 2028 edition. Bauman was named chairman of the Coordination Committee to oversee the transition from Paris to Los Angeles. Additionally, Bauman was president of the Organizing Committee of the 2020 Winter Youth Olympics in Lausanne and the Global Association of International Sports Federations and member of the International Council of Arbitration for Sport, the Council of the Association of Summer Olympic International Federations, the Advisory Board of the World Academy of Sport, and the executive board of the World Anti-Doping Agency. Bauman joined FIBA's legal department in 1994 and a year later was named deputy secretary general under Boris Lev Stankovic. In 2002, Stankovic retired and Bauman took over. Bauman's term was slated to expire in 2022 but last June, the FIBA central board approved an extension up to 2031. Bauman spoke English, Spanish, French, Italian, and German and earned degrees at the University of Chicago, Masters in Business Administration, University of Lyon, Masters in Sports Administration Management, and University of Lausanne, Law. Bauman worked as a lawyer at the Foreign Police Department in Lausanne and with the Swiss Bank Corporation. Before joining FIBA. He was a basketball player, coach and referee, and also did swimming, tennis and football. Bauman is survived by his wife Patricia and their children Bianca and Paul. Under IOC rules, a president is elected to one eight-year term, renewable for another four years. The age limit for IOC members is 70 and may be extended by four more years with the approval of the IOC executive board. IOC members who joined from 1966 to 1999 may serve up to 80. Bach, the German incumbent IOC president, is 64 and was elected to an eight-year term in 2013. He is expected to be renewed for another four years in 2021 so that his successor will be voted in by 2025. Bauman would have been ripe for the IOC presidency in 2025 at 58, the year after the Paris Olympics. Bauman had a soft spot in his heart for the Philippines. Under his watch, the Philippines hosted two legs of the 3x3 World Tour, the 2018 FIBA 3x3 World Cup, the 2013 FIBA Asia Cup, one of three legs of the 2016 FIBA Olympic qualifying tournaments, and the 2011 FIBA Asia Champions Cup. He opened the door for the Philippines to host the FIBA World Cup, initially as a finalist for the 2019 edition then as the winning bidder with Indonesia and Japan for the 2023 tournament. It was also during Bauman's administration that SBP Chairman Emeritus Manny V. Pangilinan was named to the FIBA Central Board, Dr. Jose Rol Canlas to the FIBA Medical Commission, Eddie. Aga Francisco to the FIBA Legal Commission and Jimmy Alapag to the FIBA Players Commission. Bauman's dream was to make basketball the world's most popular sport. That's the vision he proposed during the recent World Basketball Summit in China. The beauty is we want basketball to be the most popular sport in the world, said Bauman at the summit. Everything is about teamwork. All of us have a piece of work to do in that respect. For his part, 
Bauman involved big and small nations alike in promoting the game by introducing the revolutionary home and away format to qualify for the World Cup and making 3x3 the foundation of a mass-based grassroots movement, a medal event in the Olympics starting in 2020. Writer Emmett Ryan said, Bowman saw the basketball world in the most literal sense of that description. He got himself where he needed to be when he needed to be there to meet as many people growing the game worldwide as he could. His commitment to the job, whatever disagreements anyone had with him over issues within the sport, couldn't be questioned. He sought to absorb knowledge from the stakeholders he represented, he made the smaller outposts of the sport feel relevant. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, who joined Bauman at the summit, said, nobody was more dedicated to the growth of basketball than Patrick, he loved the game and recognized its power to transform people's lives, he was also a dear friend and colleague whom I attended countless games and events with over the past 20 years. There has been no announcement on how Bowman's successor in FIBA will be chosen, but it was reported that his functions will be taken over by FIBA President Horacio Murator of Argentina and the FIBA Executive Committee whose members are Richard Carrion of Puerto Rico, Terge Demiral of Turkey, Hamain Yang of Mali, Burton Shipley of New Zealand, Mark Tatum of the US, Lino Wallenkansi of Sweden and Ingo Weiss of Germany.